What up you guys, it's Yaz, and I'm back at it again with another video, um, of The Walking Dead, um, on second season, um, it's gonna pick up where we left, left off, and, um, we left off where Clementine got knocked out, and, you know, you know, well, not knocked out, she, uh, fainted. And, okay, look at all these people. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked, then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Girl, shut up. Need a dog. <gasps> Damn! Like, Keep yeah. your finger off the trigger, boy. Right. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard. You're the one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody, just calm down for a second. Mm -hmm. time, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Need a doctor, and then and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here. Okay, he'll have a look. Now, what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. Yeah. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she's surviving. Girl, oh man. Why are we even arguing about this? She, I, I already want to punch that girl in the face right there. Like. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. He's a doctor. Hey, Luke was the only person that was chill up in that group, man. I'm telling you, the rest of them sucked. Damn, that must have hurt. No shit. Mm, whatever it was, we got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. Y'all don't even know she's bit. Y'all just jump into no conclusions. Man, we shut up. Take her arm off. <gasps> uh, no, no we, we don't. For a cousin down in Ainsworth, we could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just Who be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do Luke. that. Luke, I would. It would be saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Do the side eyes. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. <laughs> I appreciate that, Luke. Sarah, what I say, stay inside. Uh, you can help me and I'll leave. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? None of your business. So y'all don't want me here. Um, my, I could take it. My friend is out there. My friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. How do you know? Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. Right. It probably is just a dog bite. Yeah. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. Are y'all serious? I'm not Without no an arm. It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. I'm not no animal. Like, Girl's in bad shape, Carlos. Yeah. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by. Out, please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm Man, not don't like, like don't let your wife like I'm shut you up. up like you know, like. Clean it. Stitch it up for you in the morning. But. I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. I could tell that Luke felt bad. I could tell he did. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. I can't believe this. Me neither. They treating you like an. You're gonna be fine. They treating you like an animal, Clementine. Wait. Hey, you don't deserve that. Left in here. I guess if I have to, 
I can use this for stitches. Yes, you can. Oh, wait. Okay, I don't think it's no. Don't use that with your hand. I don't think it's gonna work. Um. Oh, you need that hammer. All right, guys, we're crawling out. Ooh, we'll be outside. Doctor, he's gotta have stuff for stitches. Oh, he does. Ooh, to go walkers. Ooh, suspense is killing me. All right, y'all, find a way into the cabin, obtain a needle, peroxide, and some bandages. Got you. Ooh, should we look through the window first? We should... Come on. Ooh, the front door. This is stupid, but I'm going through the screen door. Like... Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna work. Oh, that window's open. Ooh, they talking? Oh, spy on them. No, no, just look. Just look. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me shit. I need some air. Oh, that girl, man. How do you put up with her, man? Like, oh, get his attention. Um, I need your help. I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please, I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. I can tell you nice. I can tell that you're nice. I ain't nice. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Well, don't you do that. I see what you're doing. I'm serious, you need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. Right. You didn't see anything. Yes, I did. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious, you gotta go. I got enough problems already. We got a baby on the way, Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't need any more, get it? Now go. It would be bad if she knew you were talking to me. Damn right it would be. I don't want to have to tell her. Motherfucker. Hey, language. <laughs> Getting yourself up in my business. I just need help. Why? Right. You don't need any trouble. Why? Right. You better do it, or I'ma tell her. Or I'll tell her. You're a real piece of work. I don't have any choice. Why? Right. Fine. Thank you. People like this, you ain't gonna have anyone. Man, you shut your ass up and give me uh, and, and help me. Mm. All right, thank, thank you. you. Don't you thank me? You just be far the fuck away from here when you turn. What do you mean? The the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. Right. Look, I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with, and a needle and thread could help too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Yeah. Okay, wait here. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I love Clementine this season. She she's a smart ass this season. I love it. <laughs> I found you some bandages. And I uh I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Oh, thank you. Take that. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. I appreciate it.
All right, I got Alvin to help me. Um. All right, I need a needle peroxide. We in the house. All right. I feel like a ninja right now. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Uh, should I open this? Okay. We inside the house. Y'all live in a pretty good house. Okay. Well, let's let's go upstairs because upst I know upstairs has more shit. <laughs> I love the suspense. Man, creep man, creaky ass stairs. Oh man. Uh let's go in here. Because I know that girl's in here. I remember her. Um, Sarah. Yeah, that's her name. Shh. You're not supposed to be in here. Can you help? Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. You're talking to me now? Wait. Uh... Uh, help me, and I won't tell him. I, I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. But you should. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. Uh huh. I bet it hurts. Yeah, it does. Yo, oh, don't say that. <laughs> I could die. Say that. I don't take care of it. Do you understand? Mm. I need something to clean it with. And I need a needle with thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. Kind of burns. I don't know if he has stuff for sewing, though. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. Uh, okay then. I'm Sarah. Oh, uh, I don't think you should tell him. Just say hi. Hi there. We're friends. Yeah, don't tell we, him. We don't be don't tell her your name. I've been don't. Girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know. Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. We're not the same age. We're not the same age. What? We're not the same age. You said we were. We're not. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm younger. A lot. You don't seem like it. That's just how it is. <laughs> so we could be friends then. Who says we can? Eventually, I guess. Like... Eventually? That's not a real answer. I just don't know you. Why? I'm not helping you. I won't tell my dad you're out, but leave me alone. Wait. Yes or no? Are you serious? You're not gonna help me if I don't be your friend. Just say yes so the bitch can help you, man. Like, oh man. Just do it. Just do it. A pinky swears forever. Man, whatever, man. I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Alright. Let me look around. I think this is it. Thank That'll you. Work. You can't do it here though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. She did the most. Thanks, Sarah. Like she did the most. Like she did not have to do. Uh, tell her, I'm not gonna help you if you don't be my friend. Like girl, bah. Like did the most. But that sink is full. I went the sink and shit. 
Oh, you take that. It's clean. Okay. I guess that's all I need. I better get out of here. Yep, you better. All right, let's go. Oh, somebody's coming. Oh. Uh, hi hide in here. Oh, it's this bitch. I can't imagine being pregnant at a time like this. Is she stressing out? Let it be okay. Let it be his. Let it be his? This girl thought, like, <laughs> this girl a hoe, like, she cheating on her husband. Like, Clementine heard. I know you heard that, Clementine. I know you did. Okay, let's leave the house. Going down the stairs. Okay. Ooh, what they listening? Ooh, let's be nosy a bit. What they say on? No way. She could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way to that. Ooh, let's listen again. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. If they show up, we've got her locked in shit. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just going to get look for you. Okay, back out. What? They still talking about this, y'all? Okay, I can't go that way. Okay, let's leave. All right. Yeah, this bitch already breathing. She know she know what time it is. <laughs> she do. Oh, this is gonna be painful. I know. Okay, uh... Okay, here we go. Let's pour it on there. Ooh. Mm. Oh, come with time. Ooh. Okay. Now the fun part. Mm-hmm. Okay, take a take a sip to calm yourself down. Okay. Get the needle. Okay. Here we go. All right, Clementine. All right, you you got this girl. Just like last time, just how Crystal showed me. Yep. All right, here we go. You can do it. Ooh. Mm. Pull it. Pull it through. Mm. Ooh, I could not be her right now. I couldn't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
Oh man. Oh. Oh man. Ooh. Okay, come on. One. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man. You got it. Ooh, she is tough though. She is. Mm. Cause I, I don't even think I can do that. Oh wait, you did it the wrong way. Hold on. You, you did it wrong. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's okay, you're done. You're done. It's alright, you got through it. Mm. Okay. All right, take a sip. Okay, there you go. Go ahead, grab it. Oh! Oh, oh, kick it. Oh, kick it. Oh, uh. Uh, I hit it. Woo. Okay, great. Now he's officially in there now. Ooh. Get off me. Ooh. Grab, grab something. Grab something. Uh, grab that. Ooh. Got you. Uh, grab this. You still alive? But. Ooh. Y'all heard that? Mm. How the hell did he get in here? Little girl is tough as nails. Are you alright? The shed should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. Why? Right. You left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? Yeah, I did. What this you gonna do about change it? A thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man right. Not carrying a baby. Enough already. Guys, please. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Right. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Oh man, Clementine's such a savage. <laughs> I love it. She just she gave him the silent treatment, like This might hurt a little. Oh how she look. Their suturing skills need some work, but otherwise I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? No. If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Right. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What are you talking about? I was hurt, and you wasn't helping me, bitch. Wait. I was hurt. And you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. 
We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. I and get then that. You escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is. And you need to really teach her. Like out there, she would cease to function. Just teach her. She's like, my little girl. She's all I have left. She ain't little and no I more. Did you stay away from her? Well, she need to grow up sometime, and you need to teach her about the bad the world she is. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. I kind of do. Becca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure: you are not to be trusted. Okay. Stay away from my daughter. Okay. No problem. <laughs> I'll stay away from her. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely. Uh, no, I just just accept this apology. You're just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just. It's fine. Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. Mm -hmm. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. Damn. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I, I understand. I do. Yeah. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. Mm -hmm. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Mm -hmm. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but... They died. Maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I I shouldn't have asked. I tried to find him. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Ooh. Lee, yes, we got we, we got to mention Lee. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. Mm -hmm. He taught me how to survive. Let him know, Clementine. He's the reason I keep my hair short. Mm-hmm. What uh, happened to him? Oh no. The same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. He was. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. The thing what I like about Telltale, I like how they mention they stay good with the story, and um, they still mention Lee. They still do. It's 
up, Pete? <laughs> oh, you're still here. You still being a bitch? Like, fuck. Just eat, Clementine. Just don't pay her eternal attention. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Girl, shut your ass up. Damn. You fooled everyone else, but not me. Ooh. Tell her. Don't talk to me like that, don't bitch. Don't talk to me like that. For what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. Yeah. You watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. Right. Well, you got it. Now go. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, let's be shady right now. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> oh, Clementine. You should be nicer to me, bitch. You should probably think about being nicer to me. I'll expose you. That's just my advice. <laughs> I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. Oh, man. Clementine ain't playing. <laughs> she ain't. I mean, nah, man. Oh, man. I love this season. I forgot about uh, this season. This Clementine's such a savage. Alright, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna end it right there. And I'll see y'all in the next video.